I just finished my second semester at MIT last May, and I'm going to go over how it went. Second semester, I took physics, electricity, and magnetism, multivariable calculus, C and assembly programming, Python programming, and a humanities class called Compass. I'm proud to say I got all A's in my courses. Going into MIT, I was worried it'd be nearly impossible to get A's. I was the valedictorian of a random public high school in a cornfield. And MIT was the big leagues, with seemingly every Olympiad winner on the planet, all in one place. But I can assure you, with hard work, it's possible for anyone admitted to get A's at MIT or any other elite school. My biggest advice is to stay organized and attend office hours. To stay organized and ensure I never missed a deadline, I used Notion. Before the semester, I went through each class's syllabus and put down reminders in advance of every assignment deadline. This ensured I never missed a due date. Office hours are amazing. At first, office hours didn't really work for me. The TAs were never able to answer my questions. But then I realized what's more important is going to the right office hours. There will be at least one office hours per each of your classes where the TA or associate professor running it explains things in a way that makes sense to you. And those are the ones you're going to keep on going to. Also, review sessions. If your class has any review sessions before the test, definitely go to them because those are essential to succeeding on your exams. The highlight of this semester was definitely hackathons. They are 24 to 48 hour coding competitions where you often pull an all-nighter, chug caffeine, and question your life choices. Then, when it's over, you look over all you've built, the people you met, and the prize money you might have won, and suddenly, it feels worth it. I was doing hackathons basically every weekend this semester, sometimes two at once. Here's some of the highlights. One of my projects, a secondary lending platform for credit unions, actually got acquired. My team was flown to Vegas to present it at the National Credit Union Conference. At another hackathon, the CEO of Intuit and co-founder of Waymo offered me $50,000 to develop a fintech startup over the summer. I turned it down for an internship, which is a story for next video on what I've been up to this summer. Although the ad for credit pay on my channel is some foreshadowing. Hackathons genuinely changed my life. They gave me friends, skills, and opportunities I never would have had otherwise. If you're into CS, you have to do them. And even if you're in high school, there are hackathons just for you, and they're a game changer for college admissions. My other videos go through more about my hackathon experience, how to find hackathons near you, and how to succeed in hackathons. I also engaged in research. I interned at NASA the summer before my freshman year at MIT, and that research was accepted to MIT's climate conference. I was one of the few undergraduate presenters. Fun fact, presenters got unlimited oysters. I ate 30. I also was accepted to present at the Stanford C3E climate conference. I kept doing my own research, and some of my independent AI research was accepted to the Tapia conference this September in Dallas. If you're an undergraduate, I recommend doing research either with a professor or on your own and attending research conferences near you. I learned so much from experienced researchers. So did I survive? Yes, but barely. Between all-nighters for hackathons, all-nighters for homework, and all-nighters for internship applications, it was the hardest year of my life. But I came out of the year with straight A's, friends, and opportunities I never expected. Subscribe to see my next video where I'll talk about what I've been working on, why it took me so long to upload this, and a major life update, all courtesy of hackathons. Spoiler alert, did I drop out of MIT? Also, if you want advice with college or scholarship applications, I do college counseling at Luminar Central at the link in the video description. I mentor students as young as middle school in finding extracurriculars they enjoy and helping them succeed at the national level. I also help students prepare and complete their college and scholarship applications. I got into every college I applied to, including Harvard, Stanford, Yale, Princeton, MIT, UPenn, Brown, Cornell, Duke, UChicago, Johns Hopkins, Vanderbilt, and more, and enjoy mentoring students and helping them get accepted to their dream schools.